Okay, this is Ringwalk Media and Association with Well Ice Therapy and Still Hub Management. Sky Nicholson, the champ, is here. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm excited. This is the, the best I've felt on a Thursday of fight week, so I definitely can't complain. I'll tell you what, you and Lucy, you've both got a big smile on your face. This is a cracking fight. It is. It's a great fight. I think this is a, a great fight for the fans. I think our styles uh, complement each other well. And I think we're going to see beautiful, clean boxing, which is nice. It's refreshing for women's boxing to, to see two technicians. Well, last time I spoke to you in Dublin, you didn't even know what you were going to do, whether you were going to go to the Olympics, you were going to go professional. I guess we found out. You thought, oh, sorry, I'll just become an interim world champion. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, no, I, I did go and I, I trained uh, alongside the, the amateur team for a little while there, around that time that I was here in Dublin. And it was quite evident to me that my heart wasn't really there anymore. I've, I've fallen in love with the pro game and I've gone all in now. Uh, and you're going to see the difference on Saturday night. Well, listen, you know, it's going to be a great fight. Um, I know you said there's levels and we're going to see those levels. Um, I've got a funny feeling she's going to bring it, which is actually probably what you want because that will give you an opportunity to showcase your skill set that we perhaps haven't seen so far. It's 100% what I want. Uh, I think if she brings it, it's on. Um, she's tailor-made for me. I've got an answer for absolutely anything that girl brings on Saturday night and she's going to wish she thought twice about taking this fight. Well, listen, you just mentioned on another interview there that, uh, you know, we're t everyone's talking about going 10 rounds with Michaela Mayer. And uh, I mean, you weren't very particularly complimentary about Ms. Mayer, but, you know, give us your opinion on that. If your biggest achievement as a professional is losing or going the distance, um, good luck to you. But I'm not here to take part. I'm not here to be in big fights. I'm here to win big fights. And, and that's going to be the difference on Saturday night. If her biggest achievement is going the distance, good luck to her. Now listen, you come through this fight, you're victorious. Obviously, the Serrano talk is there, but Serrano has been saying that she's only going to do three-minute rounds, and the governing bodies are saying we're not going to recognise that. So there is a possibility that belts are going to get distributed, isn't it? How do you feel about that situation? Honestly frustrated. Um, for me, I want to beat the best to be the best. I want to prove I'm the best in the world, and the way to do that is to beat the best. I want to be in with the best. She's the best. So for me, I want that Serrano fight. I want to fight for all the belts, um, but you know what, at the end of the day, if she doesn't want to fight the 10 two minute rounds at the sanctioning bodies um, ruling, it's, uh, it, it makes it tough. But for me, I want to be the best, I want to prove I'm the best, I want to fight her. If she doesn't want to fight me or she doesn't want to fight to the rules, then that, the ball's in her court. But after this fight, 100%, uh, we want the mandatory, we want that shot, uh, and I'm coming for it. And I really hope it's against Serrano. You've got a massive smile on your face when you say that, that we're coming for. And I can sincerely believe that you are now in that mode where world title is going to be what you achieve. 100%. I'm ready for it. After Saturday night, the world will be saying, let her off the leash. Listen, we've got to be quick because uh, obviously Katie and Chantel are going to come out. But cracking card and uh, a nice a nice one to be on. Um, what do you think of the, of the rematch? It's going to be a really tough fight for both fighters. It is. I, I think... It's a tough task in, in front of Katie. Uh, I struggle to see anyone in the world beat Chantel at 140, but if anyone in the world's going to do it, I think it's Katie. So um, I think the fans win no matter what. I think it's going to be a competitive fight either way. It'll be amazing for Katie to get the win. We can build up a big trilogy. Uh, but at the end of the day, may the best go win. What a way to end an interview. Sky, we wish you the best on Saturday night, and uh, we hope that you get the victory that you, you, you want. Thank you. Thanks very much.